There's a few different ways to quantize MIDI in Studio One. So I have a drum part here and a chord progression. And I just played it in with my keyboard so it's not perfect and I tried to push and pull a little bit so you can see what it looks like when it's slightly off the grid. So to quantize these notes, the first and easiest way is to just click on a block like that and then go to Q for quantize and then hit apply. And you might get the result you want. So let's press that and see what happens and take a listen to it. We'll just listen to the drums. And that seemed to do it. So it locked in to the 16th note grid. So that's the other thing you need to look at over here. How do I want to lock them in? Every whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, or 16th note, or so on. So that happened to work for that one. Let's get the chord progression as well. Now, what I would do for the chord progression is I would quantize them to eighth notes because the fastest note I play ever in this chord progression is an eighth note. So what I'll do is go over to here and click on the eighth note, and then I'll hit apply. And there we go. So now both of these should be quantized and locked in. Let's take a listen. And it's perfectly in time. So the biggest thing you need to look at when you're just clicking on a block and quantizing notes is making sure that you select whatever your fastest note is that you played and you select that over here. Now you might have to go in and tweak some things. So let's undo those quantizations and show you how you could go and do this in more detail. So let's go to the drum part and go to our edit window and let's zoom in on it. Now one of the other tricks I do when I'm working in the edit window is I press this button right here, which lines up the play back vertically. And what you can do is quantize this one drum instrument at a time. So for example, this hi-hat sound right there, I can take all of those notes and quantize them. I know that those are eighth notes so I'll go to quantize, select eighth note, and then just because these are in white highlighted, when I hit apply, those are the only notes that are gonna move. And you see them snap into perfect place. For the snare drum, I can highlight just those, and I know the, the fastest note I'm ever playing with those is a quarter note. So I can select quarter note, hit apply, and you see them snap into perfect time. For the bass drum, the fastest note I play is an eighth note, so I go back to that. And, uh, and select that. Now it drastically moved that bass drum part, so let me undo that and show you what's happening there. Uh, it's because I actually wasn't supposed to pick eighth note. I should have picked 16th note. So if you ever listen back and your part is totally different, you probably picked the wrong quantization level here. So if I zoom in on this bass drum part, just in the first beat, I play on the beat one, and what should be one E and a, uh, the a uh of one, if that's how you count your 16th notes. So I do need to quantize these to the 16th note level. So I'll hit 16th note and apply. Boom, and you see it locks them in. Now on the grid, we see four little beats within the first beat of measure there. So let's zoom back out, and we can select all of our bass drums there and we can quantize all of them to 16th note level, and there we go.